Nestled in the middle of the vast Atlantic Ocean, a hidden gem awaits, the enchanting Azores. This is a mesmerizing archipelago comprising nine volcanic islands bursting with natural wonders and cultural treasures. Prepare to be captivated by stunning landscapes, from dramatic volcanic peaks to crystal clear lakes that shimmer like diamonds. Many people don't know much about this isolated island cluster where centuries-old traditions blend harmoniously with the pulse of modern life. Today, we are going to show you exactly why Azores is one of the coolest places on the planet. After all, do you know there's a specific Azorean dish that's actually cooked in volcanic heat below the ground? You'll find out a ton of fun facts like this soon enough. 1. The Azores are a group of nine volcanic islands spread over 370 miles in the North Atlantic Ocean. These distinct islands, named São Miguel, Santa Maria, Terceria, Graciosa, São Jorge, Pico, Fayal, Flores, and Corvo, each contribute to the unique tapestry that forms this mesmerizing archipelago. 2. Located about 850 miles west of continental Portugal, the Azores are an autonomous region of Portugal, the same status as the Portuguese island of Madeira. 3. Each island has a distinct character and charm. For example, Flores is known for its stunning waterfalls and lush greenery. The island of Graciosa is known as the White Island because of its unique light-colored soil. 4. The Azores were detailed on a Catalan atlas drawn and written in 1375, but the islands were officially discovered in 1431 by Gonzalo Velho Cabral. 5. The island group is a great place to see the northern lights, due to their northern location and lack of light pollution. 6. Mount Pico on the island of Pico, at 2,351 feet above sea level, is the highest point in the Azores and all of Portugal. It is also the highest underwater face mountain in the world. 7. Did you know that the Azores was once a critical location for undersea cable landing stations, connecting telegraph and later telephone cables between North America and Europe? 8. The island group is the best place in the world to see hydrothermal vents. 9. Since the Azores have a volcanic origin, these nine volcanic islands are just a thermal paradise and you can find some nice hot springs to swim in. The core set of the hot springs and thermal baths can be found on São Miguel. There are calderas, volcanic heat, volcanic craters and plenty of other geothermal activity such as Lake Furness. 10. The Azores has a significant number of blue flag beaches, recognized for their high environmental and quality standards. The best ones are São Lourenço Bay, Iteu de Vila Franca, Praia de Santa Barbara, Praia dos Mosteiros, and Faya de Santo Cristo. 11. The endemic Azorean chaffinch has a different song on each island. 12. Although the Azores were settled by immigrants from mainland Portugal, the islands were also populated by Flemish, French, and Spaniards, as well as Moorish prisoners and African slaves from Guinea, Cape Verde, and Sao Tome. As a result, the Azorean population today differs genetically from the mainland Portuguese. 13. The islands are home to several endemic species of bats, including the Azores noctule, the only species of bat that's active during the daytime. 14. The islands of Flores, Graciosa, and the island of Corvo in the Azores have been designated as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve due to their unique ecosystems and efforts to promote sustainable development. 15. A rather funny thing is that the Azores was likely named after a bird, which has never lived there. People believe the Azores were named after an aster, a bird considered widespread in the archipelago but confused with the common buzzard. 16. The average lifespan of an Azorean person is 97.45 years. 17. Azores actually boasts three capitals, which are Angra de Heroismo, Horta, and Ponta Delgada. 18. While they are not native to the Azores, colorful hydrangeas flowers were introduced to the islands and are very common today. One of the islands, called Fayel Island, is also known as the Blue Island due to the vast number of hydrangeas present. 19. The Azores has a historical connection to whaling. In the past, the islands were involved in the hunting and processing of whales. Today, the focus has shifted to whale conservation and responsible whale watching. 20. The islands of the Azores were formed through volcanic activity. They are part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a geologically active region where the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates meet. 21. Amidst an area of geothermal activity, there are craters where for generations people have come to cook the famous cozido nas calderas. It's a dish that contains various different meats, sausage and vegetables, 
mainly cabbage, kale, and potatoes, and the stew is cooked underground for around 7 hours. 22. The ananas de azor, or azorian pineapple, is grown exclusively in glass houses and is considered a delicacy. 23. Sao Miguel Island is home to the only tea plantation in Europe. 24. In the 1450s, tea leaves were found growing in the wild in the Azores. Commercial tea production in the Azores began in the 1770s and continues today. The Azores tea drying process using the fresh ocean air gives its green teas a unique fragrant scent when they are brewed. 25. Azor Islands are not only a great place for nature lovers, it's also an interesting destination for golf players all year round. Azores golf courses have a special charm that attracts mass attention. While the main Sao Miguel Island has two golf courses, the neighboring Tercera can boast the last one. 26. Due to its advantageous geographical location, the Azores has a proximity to the time zones of the USA and the European region. The official time on the islands has only one hour difference with the UK, two hours with Germany, three hours with the east coast of Brazil, and four hours with the east coast of the USA. 27. Azorian handicrafts include blue and white ceramics, wicker baskets, fig tree pith miniatures, and flowers made with fish scales are popular purchases by visiting tourists. 28. Wines are popular in the islands, and Azorian wines are traditionally made mainly from three grape varieties, Verdello, Arinto, and Shiraz. Vines are typically grown in little pens surrounded by stone walls made of volcanic rocks to protect them from the winds and cool evening temperatures. 29. Each of the nine islands of Azores has one color assigned to it. A long time ago, inhabitants of the Azores decided to name the Azores after colors based on the characteristics of each island. For example, Tercera is purple because of the purple facades of buildings on the island. Graciosa is white as it has a lot of whitish rocks. 30. It is considered one of the best locations in Europe for whale watching. Several species of whales, including black whales, blue whales, and humpback whales, can be spotted off the coast of the islands. 31. The vibrant and colorful houses in the Azores are a distinctive feature of the architecture and cultural heritage of the region and shows how fun-loving and lively the people are. In fact, the traditional Azorean houses are built using black volcanic rock and have characteristic red-tiled roofs. 32. The Azores are home to a species of bird called the Azores bullfinch, which is found only on Sao Miguel Island and is considered endangered. 33. It is possible that the Azores were first discovered by Vikings. There is a hypothesis that Viking seafarers may have arrived 700 years earlier than the Portuguese. Despite leaving before the Portuguese sailors have come, some Norse rodent stowaways may have left the generic trace. Specifically, this suggests mouse DNA and lake sediment, which suggests they were here first. 34. The Azores have a mild maritime climate characterized by moderate temperatures throughout the year. The weather is known for its changeable nature, with frequent rain and fog, which contributes to the lush green landscapes. 35. The official language of Azor is Portuguese, but they have their own variant of the Portuguese language, the Azorian dialect, which is spoken alongside standard Portuguese. 36. The Azores is home to two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The historic city center of Angra do Heroismo on Tercera Island is recognized for its well-preserved architecture and cultural significance. The vineyards of Pico Island, known for their unique basalt walls, are also designated as a World Heritage Site. 37. They have bullfighting on the Azores. Turada Acorda is a type of bullfighting traditional to the Azores, especially on Tessera. The bulls are released after each event and are given a three-week rest before the next fight. 38. Azorean cuisine is a rich, hearty, and peasant-based style of cooking. Famous local food of the Azores includes cozido de furnas, which is a one-pot stew cooked by the hot springs, octopus stewed in wine, kale soup, fried mackerel, locally grown pineapples, and the sweet, spicy cherry red peppers. 39. The United States maintain a NATO airbase on the island of Tercera. The Lajes Air Base provides a strategically located mid-Atlantic link for U.S. and allied forces to Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Lajes Field is a multi-use airfield home to the Portuguese Air Force Base, a United States Air Force Detachment Unit, and a regional air passenger terminal. 40. The Azores has established several marine protected areas to safeguard the rich biodiversity of its waters. These areas help protect endangered species, such as the loggerhead sea turtle and the Azores bullfinch. 43. 
The Azores is the first archipelago that receives the Earth Check certification for sustainability. 44. As early as the 1600s, the Azores began getting overpopulated, resulting in Azorians immigrating to Brazil, Uruguay, the United States, and Canada. 45. Between 1921 and 1977, about 250,000 Azorians immigrated to U.S. cities of New Bedford, Bristol, Barrington, Pawtucket, Central Falls, West Warwick, Hudson, Marlboro, East Providence, River Point, Taunton, and Fall River in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. 46. Just before the start of the Iraq War in 2003, the Azores was the location for a summit meeting of United States President George W. Bush, British Prime Minister Tony Blair, Spanish Prime Minister José María Aznar, and Portuguese Prime Minister José Manuel Dureo Barroso. 47. There is an abandoned five-star hotel perched on an isolated mountaintop in Funchal, which makes for some great urban exploration. It's called the Hotel Monte Palas, which opened its doors on 15 April 1989. The grand five-star hotel had 88 rooms, two restaurants, a bar, a bank, a hairdresser's, three conference rooms, and a nightclub. However, it closed just 19 months later due to high running costs and low occupancy. Even now, in its poor state of disarray, there are still many details visible that hint at its previous grandeur. A cavernous indoor courtyard, spiral staircases, and elegantly tiled bathrooms. 48. Humans actually brought animals to the islands. Before humans settled on the islands, there were no land mammals. However, Azores is now home to mice, rats, hedgehogs, rabbits, and weasels. The archipelago is also home to the gold crest, the world's smallest bird. 49. The euro is the official currency in the Azores. 50. Sao Miguel Island has been manufacturing pottery since 1862. Nowadays, you can actually tour the factory and showrooms in Lagoa. One of these cities is the Ceramica Vieira, a family-run business currently in its fifth generation. Crockery, pots, bowls, vases, and other items in traditional signs and colors are made there. That's all for the Azores. Let us know in the comments which beautiful European island you would like to see in the upcoming video.